Hello guys, today I'm gonna repair this uh, Sony TV Bravia. The model is KLV 40R 35-2B. It's assembly in 2015 and it has input power 19.5 volt DC and 52 watt. This TV has a problem with turn off itself after uh, 3 seconds, 5 seconds after the Sony logo appears. But we still have a sound coming out from the speaker and sometimes it will be lost for maybe 10 or 15 seconds and you still can see the picture on the screen and after that randomly it will be shutting off itself or a blank screen so I'm gonna check this TV I'm gonna open the TV and check what's going on inside so let's get started Okay, this is the main board for this Sony Bravia. This board type is BIS2, PES2. So this TV only have uh, this main board and the uh, Ticon board. It doesn't have a power supply because power supply come from the outside adapter. So the first step I want to do is I want to check the output from this adapter. It's supposed to be 19.5 volt DC. So I'm gonna check with my multimeter we set to the DC voltage. This one, this is the symbol. Yes, uh, DC. This one we put negative and the red probe we put into the middle positive. Yes, we have a 19.43. I think this is normal. I think the input power is okay, the, ad the adapter is okay. So I'm gonna move to the other test. Okay, from the surface manual book, PDF from Sony, they explain if there is no pictures, there are maybe three possibilities. The first possibility is the this LVDS cable. This is FFC cable. FFC uh, stand for flexible flat cables. If there's no uh, pictures, there's uh, you need to check these cables. If there's any connection, good connection or corrosion here or dirty dust here. The second step, we need to check the checkpoint. The GL6007. It's supposed to be I have a 12 volt DC. And the other possibilities is uh, the backlight. If there's some uh, uh, dead backlight inside this, the LED, one piece or one strip failing, it may cause this uh, random shutdown or random picture off to this TV. So uh, I'm gonna need to check the checkpoint first. If there's any voltage coming to the this board for the picture power okay first step we need to set our multimeter to DC volt this is the symbol this one we set into DC voltage and then we plug the, the adapter okay from the manual book you need to check the GL6007 point oh, okay this is the point this one the GL6007 from the manual book it's supposed to be panel FCC switch 12 volt let's try to check with my multimeter okay we already set the multimeter into DC voltage the first point is this one it is this is for the VCC and the next checkpoint is this one this is for the backlight uh, voltage it needs to have a 3.3 volt DC and this one is needs to have a 12 volt or plus minus okay we check the first point put the black probe into this the negative probe and the red probe into this point we have 1.9 1.8 voltage 
Yeah, the TV's position is off. And now we check the, the other point for the backlight. We have 1.1. 1 .1. The TV position is off. Okay, now I'm gonna turn on the TV. This is the power. Yes, the backlight is on. Now we check again for the VCC. Okay, VCC is now 12 volt after the TV turn on and the backlight point, checkpoint 3.3 .3. Yes, this is good. 3.3 volt. Okay, now maybe I'm gonna check the LVDS cable. This is uh, FFC cable. FFC stands for a flat flexible cable. Let's unplug the power. Maybe I'm gonna open this and clean the terminal. We need to press this two button. And you can pull out. We need to clean this. Okay, for cleaning this LVDS cable, the flexible cable, we need to use a, a contact cleaner like this or you may use a rubber eraser or alcohol or anything else to clean the terminal from the corrosion dust and anything else and also this uh, LVDS cables going to here we need to clean this also we need to open this to pull out this Okay, we wait a while to let it dry. Make sure you're using the fast drying contact cleaner. Otherwise, it will make a short in your circuit. Now, we open the other flexible cable that going to the T-con board. Open like this. This is also need to be cleaning. Okay, you need to be extra careful to handle this uh, flexible cable. I'm trying to put inside but there is no space. I need a little bit more space. I'm going to cut this. Okay, now let's uh, test the TV. Okay, I guess it's working. 
we will wait uh, maybe half an hour, one hour. Okay, I'm gonna give uh, input channel. Okay, I already give the input channel. Yes, I guess the sound is working. Okay, uh, I guess the TV is working now uh, with the simple step, the second step actually. After checking the voltage from the board, uh, and then the next step is uh, I'm checking the LVDS cables, flexible cables, and it's turned out that maybe it has some corrosion going on there. And yeah, I fixed this TV now with uh, only cleaning the. LVDS cables, flexible cables, and yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you like this. And see you next time in my next video. And again, thank you very much. Terima kasih. Bye bye.